wannabes. Okay, so uh, today is Tuesday. My sister came and we did a lot of work. My body is broken. I'm hurting so much. I, oh, there we go. I am hurting pretty good. Um, I'm walking like I'm 90 years old. So, <laughs> so there's that. Um, but yeah, we, we got a lot, a lot of stuff done. Um, and I'll, I'll see if I can get, she took pictures. I didn't, I was too embarrassed. So she took some pictures. If I can get those pictures, I will pop them here. The before and the afters. Um, I mean, it's still, there's still a lot of stuff there, but at least it's a little more organized. And as we bring stuff from the shop, to the house, we'll, we'll know where everything is. Um, I decided I don't think that I'm going to put all of my work stuff downstairs because there isn't a whole lot of ventilation down there and I need the ventilation for the sublimation stuff. Unless I put the, um, the convection oven and everything by the door and then had a fan that pushes everything outside. I'm not sure yet. But it's like George said. He says, you absolutely hate the basement. You're never going to go down there to work. And he's probably right. So, um, I think I'll end up just using the downstairs as storage. Maybe what I'll do is I'll get a bed and put it downstairs. Um, like make a space downstairs so that if Tia and Axel come, they can stay down there or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I don't have enough room in that small bedroom to do everything that I want to do. I might change my mind. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if my space down there is functional and I can make it so that I will enjoy being down there, maybe I will. I don't know. But history has proven that I just do not like basements. I don't like going down there. It not just creeps me out, but it's, I don't feel good down there. Like I just, I don't know. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. But, um, yeah, it's, it's there. If I need to do that. So, um, I decided when I was going to, when I started doing, uh, Angela from My Precious Yarnery. She has a new pattern out. I started doing it. I got that much done and I got so frustrated, not because of her pattern, but because of the one stitch. You have to go into a very small hole in the stitch and none of my crochet hooks had a sharp enough um, end on it, the head of it, to get into that hole. So I was, it was taking me a long time to do it and it was really make it was frustrating the crap out of me. So I frogged the whole thing and I got myself a couple of new hooks that I wanted to try out. Now, Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches raves about Omni hooks, right? Um, she almost broke the internet because <laughs> everybody went on Amazon to buy these Omni hooks. And I thought, you know, I'm going to buy one. I've been pulling back a bit. I didn't want to buy one. I thought, eh, I'm a furls girl. Mm, I don't know. But then I thought, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to try it because the picture that I saw, the, the head on it was fairly pointed. So I thought, mm, okay, I'll spend the $14 and buy one. So I did. And... The head on it is very sharp. Okay. So I'm thinking that's going to work out really well. Now, here it is. Very pretty, right? I was thinking, oh, this is so nice. It's a wood hook. Not a fan of wood hooks, but I'm going to try it. The first thing I noticed right away that I did not like was the crease between the resin or whatever this is. It almost feels like a decal. See, it's raised up a little bit. 
especially over on this side. So the way that they glued it, the way that they glued it or whatever they did to it, there's an edge right here and on the bottom. Hear that? Yeah. Hopefully, hope, oh, hold on. Okay, where was I? Right. So I'm hoping that this isn't going to bug me because I'm a pencil holder. It should be okay, but yeah, I don't know. That, that feels unfinished to me. It, um, I don't like that, but it's pretty. So I got that one. And then a long time ago, when I started my channel, um, about a year or so into my channel, I've had my channel for about five years. There's a lady that everybody knew back then. <clears throat> Her name is Ryan. And she was from the channel Yarn Hag Ryan. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, <sighs> God, we miss her. <laughs> she was, she's so full of life. She's got so much energy. She had so much to offer this community. A little too much. She, she was doing, you know, giveaways and boxes and like, she was always doing something. I enjoyed watching her channel immensely. And Brian, if you're watching, hi. <laughs> um, she gifted me a prim hook a long time ago. And I never got a chance to use it because a friend of mine was like, oh, I love those hooks. So I re-gifted it to her. Um, so I remembered that. And I couldn't remember if they had a pointed edge or not. So or a uh, hook or not. So I looked online and I found them and I got a new one. I think this is going to work. Okay. So it's got the grippy, grippy edge or grippy edge, grippy handle. Um, so I think this is, this is going to be okay. It's a plastic hook, but I mean, it should glide really nice, I think. I think I got a customer, hang on. Okay, so um, yeah, so I'm thinking that these prim hooks are gonna work pretty good. So I'm gonna try them out. The only thing I, I think they're back, hang on. Nope. Okay, the only thing I don't like is there's a seam that goes down here and down the back that I can kind of feel. So I'm hoping that that's not gonna get caught up on my yarn. But I'm gonna try them today because, oh God, you guys, I'm so sore. I am going to try and redo, redo the Angela's sweater, but I'm going to try it with this, the lollipop. In what color is this? Uh, seaside. So I'm hoping that this will work out better. And I'm using a big hook. This is a, these are both eight millimeter hooks. Yeah, both they're both eight millimeters. So I'm going to try them with both and see what happens. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I should be doing those dragons. I just, I, I was so sore this morning and I, I couldn't, I just couldn't bring the big bag of stuff with all the dragon stuff in it. Um, and also I had to drive my sister all the way back home. So I had, and I had to have the dog with me and I just I couldn't, I had no brain capacity this morning for that. So I'm going to do this. This is going to be better. Okay. I will talk to you later. Okay, first thing right off the bat. I'm using the prim hook. <laughs> Something I noticed is normally when I'm crocheting, oh, hi. Hi. Hang on. Okay, normally when I crochet, I automatically, when I'm crocheting, my pinky grabs onto my project and I just go, right? 
I've got arthritis in this finger because of years of doing that. This hook is forcing me to not do that. And I don't know why it's, I can't with this hook, I can't do that and go, I don't, I don't understand why, but yeah, like it just, it's forcing me to just go freehand and it feels so weird and it's making me go slower. So I don't know what it is. I pulled out my, my other furls hook and they're exactly the same length. So it's not the length. Um, but yeah, it's weird. And so I'm thinking I, even if I have to crochet slower, it's going to give this finger a break. So that's good. But yeah, I'm, I'm not, I have to hold my, my hook like this. I don't do that normally. I hold it like this and then I use this. To, and so, but this is making me hold it like this. That's bizarre. And my hand just automatically did it. And I was like, what? Like what? What? So it feels kind of awkward, but my pinky feels good. So yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's weird. I haven't tried the other hook yet, so. Hi, Yarnabies. How are you today? So my, did I? I don't even know if I showed you. I got my first dragon finished. Now I'm working on my second one. <clears throat> so she's she is on her way so I gotta put her body parts on I'm, I'm making those right now this one's also weighted weird thing though it almost looks like the body is smaller I don't know if I messed that up or not but I've got the weight in there but it just looks like the body's a lot smaller than the other one I could, I could be wrong I don't know but it is what it is. So, oh. so I'm in the process of doing all the other body parts, but that's all of this I've got left. So I'm going to be playing yarn chicken. Um, I did put an order in with Michael's breaks my heart, but they have, they're having a sale on right now. So I just put in a $200 order. Um, <clears throat> they, I found out that the box of polyfill is actually online, not in store. So I'm having it shipped to me, which is great. I didn't know that was even going to be an option. So yeah, who? Um, so yeah, I got to get this dragon dragon done. Um, I came up with an idea for these dragons. <clears throat> I'm going to make them emotional support dragons. And George and I came up with a slogan to put on the tag. Where is it here? Um, just looking on my computer. You guys tell me what you think. It says, when some troubles come your way, your dragon will be here to slay. Then when emotions are a lagging, wrap your arms around your dragon. All your troubles will expire from your dragon's mighty fire. So <laughs> we kind of made that up on the fly. And um, so I'm going to put, I'm going to put a little dragon head on the label and oh, sticky. <laughs> mm. um, we're going to put dragon head on the label and we're going to put that little saying on there. And yeah, so that's kind of, kind of where we're at with that. Uh, what else? I got another day off, you guys. Yay! So that I can get this dragon finished. Terry's taking care of the shop for me. She's, she's such a wonder. I love her so much. Thank you, Terry. Because um, if it wasn't for Terry, I wouldn't be able to get this stuff done. <sighs> Although I have a lot of time when I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to close the shop in a couple weeks. Oh, today's the 13th. I don't have much time. I'm going to be closing the shop pretty soon. <laughs> Yikes. Um, yeah. So, so uh, what, uh, once every two weeks, I have um, 
people come and clean my house for me because I can't I can't do the bathtub and all of that stuff I can't vacuum I can't my my back just can't handle that so George is kind enough to bring somebody in but <laughs> my house is like a yarn store barfed in here it's horrid like I've got yarn everywhere in bags all over all oh, it's it's awful but um every time they come in here and they vacuum on the hardwood floor they always grab a piece of yarn and it gets stuck in their vacuum <laughs> it's like oh god so yeah so she came in and I had to cut some of the yarn out of her vacuum and <laughs> It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. This is my house. This is this is my life right now. <sighs> so anyway, um, yeah. So I need to get this. I'm I'm watching the cozy Buckeye, and um, I I really enjoy the cozy Buckeye because, man, that woman works her butt off in her business. She's had her crochet business for 10 years, I think. And she makes these hats that are the character hats that are just amazing. She does little um, baby costumes, like like little capes with masks and stuff for photo shoots. Uh, oh. Okay, okay. Bailey, relax. Holy smokes. Um, and like she she does everything by hand. And it's crazy. Like, the amount of work that she does, I don't know how she gets it all finished. But, um, yeah, it's it's insane. I'll leave her link down below. And, um, yeah, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Because she, she, she pre-does a lot of her hats. Like, just the basic, basic beanie hat with the tags on the front. And then she goes in and she makes the creation, the pieces creates the pieces for it depending on what it is whether it's a wolf or a bear or whatever um she does dog hats and uh, stuff like that so but yeah watching her do this process i couldn't do it there's no way i'd go out of my mind so but yeah so anyway all right so i'm gonna see if i can win at urine chicken okay <laughs>
her horns are longer and more steer like like a steer I didn't put the fur on the edges of her wings um, so she's oh here's the other one so she's a little bit different but that's okay that's okay um yeah and her tail is actually her tail is a little bit shorter not by much but just a little bit oh yeah a little bit shorter so there are some differences between the two but that's okay that dra dragons aren't the same Dragons aren't even real. <laughs> oh, man. So anyways, um, I'm looking at her body. Yes, her body seems like it's a little bit smaller than his, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so they're done. Yay. The customer will be so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Just, oh. oh, man. I got other things I got to do. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Like I just woke up. <sighs> Got up, made my coffee, sat down with you guys. So, um, it's 7.30. So I woke up a little bit late today. I'm kind of liking this sleeping in a little bit thing. <laughs> um, so now I need to work on Chris's gift. So they can get her box in the mail. And yeah. I'm just like, whatever. Oh, I got a package in the mail. I got to do a video on that because I ordered some more yarn off of Timu. Different yarn. And I thought I would share that with you guys and see what it's like. But I'll do that in another video. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I also bought the bags to make mystery bags. For when I close the shop. So, yeah. Let me, let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that. Um, I was planning on doing the mystery bags for craft fairs. But if you guys are interested in mystery bags. of, It's not going to be mystery bags of yarn. It's going to be mystery bags of different things that are in my shop. Um, they could be anything from a tumbler and some other things. It could be a t-shirt and some other things. It could just be a bunch of random stuff that's in the shop. It could be like, it could be anything that's in there. Um, <clears throat> so let me know what your thoughts are. So, okay. I think I'm going to close out this video. And uh, get ready for work. So, okay, guys. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I will talk to you soon. Okay. Love you all. Don't forget to do all the things. Subscribe and all that stuff. Don't forget about my membership um, button. And what else? You know, all those things. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>